Hey guys, it's Justin again with another unboxing video. This is uh, another sponsorship video for the Animatropolis. Uh, big thank you to Michael over there for sending this to me. Um, as you all know, I love RGs. They're my favorite line of mobile suits. Uh, you get a nice 1144 scaled kit, plenty of panel lines, plenty of detail, uh, some color separation, and uh, I think out of all the kits that you know, you can just snap build, these look the best straight out of the box. Uh, lots of decals, uh, like I said, lots of panel lines, and they're just really nice. Uh, the inner frame is really cool, usually, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, they're just packed full of neat little gimmicks. Uh, I, I'd like to see more like 3.0 style done in the Master Grade. Uh, I could pick and choose through those, uh, but regardless, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the Wing uh, Zero Custom. Uh, I wish this was the standard uh, Verka design. I like the wings better on that, but uh, I'll probably pick another one up and buy the uh, the resin wing expansion when that comes out. Uh, but for now, this will do. So uh, this is the based on the Wing Zero custom design. I think this is just a, a slight different, uh, slightly different mold. I don't think there's too many differences, uh, but it is designed by Kotoki, so. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the full inner frame. You get the wings, they can close up, they can open up, all the wings are individual. You get a pilot figure as well as a, you know, the full mobile suit. And this shows the stack of runners, and I believe this is a... Actually, I think all these box images are uh, unpainted. So, uh, you get a really cool plethora of uh, poses and maneuverability out of this thing. Looks really good. Uh, opening cockpit gimmick. I don't know how that's gonna work in 1144 scale. Uh, it also looks like you can store the beam sabers somewhere behind the shoulders, behind the wings, something like that. I don't know, but looks really cool. Uh, I'm really excited to dig into this. It should be a nice little change of pace, and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna feel good to build something again. So, uh, again, box art is pretty standard. Uh, headshot over here, full body shot on the other side. Uh, here is a little card for you, and uh, there you go, look, here's a little discount code for everybody. If you go to the Animatropolis and you type in SAVE10 when you're checking out, you get 10% off, or $10, something like that. But he's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, there's his email, so contact Mike, buy his goods they're really nicely priced anyway but you also get that little coupon code and it'll save you a little bit more <clears throat> so straight away uh, our first runner is going to be G uh, it's going to be partially obstructed so pardon my moving this box or moving this from the bag if you're wearing headphones the stickers are in the way so anyway uh, G is molded in gray We've got uh, big fist pieces. There's other hands here as well. Some, uh, I think these are for the shoulders. The Gatling guns on the shoulders, these are for the guns. The guns also have frame, and then the outer shell for the frame, or the guns. I think these are also for the, uh, no, these aren't for the thing, these are probably for the wings or something like that. Uh, the camera pieces for the guns, uh, the barrels. And the Gatling guns on the shoulders are also in place, so that's really cool that that's all included. <coughs> Excuse me. Next we have F. F has got a little Hero Yui. Uh, the head pieces, mostly wing stuff. The wings are actually really nicely done. Uh, I really like the, the fins and uh, layered look that they have. Uh, there's the shoulder pieces, the collar, the waist, the front skirt, the face. But this runner is 90% wing, so we'll do the stickers last. Uh, I'm going to take this one out too because three runners. We've got the new frame. Uh, this is MS Joint 9. Wow. Uh, very different looking legs uh, from the other standard RGs. But the arms look about the same. 
uh, as do the, well, the, actually that is kind of new. So, curious to see how this fits together, but the hands are also pretty standard. I think these are actually pieces for the wing connectors. <coughs> Next we've got A, A is on dark blue. Uh, I believe that is, yes, two shades of blue, so there's a really dark blue here. There's a little bit brighter blue here, it's more of a navy. Um, these are the shoulders, the chest, these are the bits that go in the shoulders. Uh, I think there's a yellow piece that goes around them or something like that, maybe not. Um, but then these are the skirts, the shoulders, I think that's the backpack, sides of the chest, top skirts, cockpit. These are the inlays for the shoulders, the V-fin. Uh, I believe these might go to the shoulders, the fronts of the legs, thighs, calves, uh, mohawk camera, wrists, shoulders. <clears throat> Next we've got C, which is uh, our clear green, it's kind of like a mint green if you will, uh, which is a little different than what you normally see with the uh, the Master Grade releases, those were all molded in like a, like a neon green. Then we've got red, uh, these are the feet pieces all right here. Uh, these are the tops of the feet, chest. I think these are probably the ears. Uh, I don't know what that is. And then that's the chin piece, I think. We've got clear parts over here for the guns, the eye piece, the chest. These are the ears themselves, uh, the, the waist units, tops of the shoulders, backs of the hands. Alright, I'm not going to take this one out. This is uh, D1. And this is just looking like it's some joints and stuff like that. Uh, that's going to attach on everything. These are probably for the skirts. Backpack, definitely. Uh, that looks like an action base connector. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, next, we've got E1, which is... Do you from... I think this is actually a different shade of white, uh, but you've got the ankle guards, the calves, the, uh, well not the calves, the thighs, the shins, the knee armor, the sides of the legs, the back wings, and then all the individual wings for the other pieces. And then again, I'm not going to take these out, these are uh, D1 and D2, or D2 and E2. D2 is basically just a short version of D1. Same thing goes for E2, basically just cut off the uh, the small wing section since those are uh, split in half. <coughs> Here's a little QR code, I'm not sure what that does, so if you want to take the time to scan that, there it is. And then here is a advertisement for the RG uh, wing thing that you can buy, it's a P Bandai exclusive. Uh, so I'll have to find out where I can get that, because I do want it. Nothing on the back. The decals are pretty uh, standard, they actually. Uh, there's more than I thought there would be, uh, but less than I would hope for. Uh, white markings, gray markings, generic warnings, and then some red ones. Handful of silvers, nothing too crazy. Oh, and then the instruction manual itself, I haven't even looked at this yet, uh, you know, it's pretty standard, it shows you how to assemble things onto the frame, how to cut pieces out, how to deal with undergated parts, how to uh, apply stickers, how to cut things from the sprues, and with all RG kits you start with the legs and you work your way up, you'll build the entire mobile suit. Then you'll build the backpack and the wings, and then finally will be weapons. There's some nice pose shots and some color stuff in there. And then uh, a decal guide on the back. So, that is my unboxing of the RG Wing Zero Custom. Uh, thank you again to the Animatropolis for sending me this. I'm really looking forward to building it. Uh, hopefully I'll have a review up for you in the next couple days. And uh, you guys can see how nice this thing is when it's put together. So, I'll see you guys soon. Later.